Welcome to Outdoors Type. Today we're going to take you for a walk through the Milan Railway Museum and South Australian Light Railway Centre. This is a free uh, little railway museum on the shores of Lake Alexandrina. It's open on weekends. We're going to go for a walk through the carriages and show you everything that these guys have got to offer. Let's go check it out. Malang Railway Station opened in 1884 as the terminus of a branch line from the Victor Harbour Line. It thrived for a while, but the river trade was in decline by the time the line was completed. Rail services dwindled until the station closed in 1970 and virtually all traces of the station were removed. A committed band of volunteers still stuck by the idea of restoring the precinct one day as a railway museum, and they rebuilt it all, bit by bit, until the new railway museum officially opened in 1992. The museum has re-established a vibrant railway precinct on the main foreshore area of Malang and the little lines of the South Australian Light Railway Centre are extending it even further. There are static displays, restored engines and carriages with a cafeteria, memorabilia and craft centred along a beautifully restored station platform area. But first, you might want to hop into the driver's seat of engine 351 to experience what it's like to drive a train. The kids will love this bit. Step inside to explore the old station building. Once consigned to rot in a farm paddock, the museum volunteers dragged the old building back to its former location and restored it to the faithful reproduction it is today. Inside, you'll find displays and memorabilia in the old parcels room and station master's office, and you can head into the ticket office and check out a static model railway display, among heaps of other interesting bits and pieces. A restored former explosive van houses the story of the original railway and the museum. There's a wealth of information in here and plenty of other bits of South Australian railway history to see. Step inside the SAR Goods Guards van. It's an interesting step back to the railways of the late 20th century. You can get an impression of the life of a train guard back then and it sure seems austere compared to what we expect these days. The cafeteria cars are open on Sundays and event days. The restored passenger cars are fitted with dining car fixtures and offer a reasonably priced menu of meals and refreshments. It's nothing flash, but it's good value. I wonder if they should offer the dishes shown on the sample of the old SAR menu. Bookshops, like the little one here in a carriage, are always worth a look for rare finds. The craft shop occupies the entire length of the next carriage and holds a trove of local gifts and crafts. They're open 12 till 4 every weekend. The South Australian Light Railway Centre tells the story of the nearly 700 light railways that were once at work around SA, like the Cobb Dogler Steam Railway, which you can also have a go at driving. Other restored light locomotives and rail equipment are maintained in running condition inside the shed alongside a push button operated model railway. The walls offer detailed information on all the light railways around South Australia and the displays inside the shed. The Malang Flyer departs from Malang West platform every Sunday between 12 and 4 p.m. with free train rides. Hauled by a little battery-operated locomotive with wagons once used to haul explosives at Smithfield, this little train jauntily trundles its way along the track to the western end of the museum precinct. Here you can get a look at the old railway turntable location, albeit the turntable is not the original one.
Across the road from the western end of the precinct on Stirling Street, you'll find the Plark and Railway Gate marking the beginning of the Naragi Walking Trail to Sandergrove. This old Fowler engine from Mackay in Queensland looks amazing against the backdrop of the lake, but there's still more to see if we double back to the eastern end of the station area. The Greater Foreshore Precinct has a walking trail taking you along the route of the old horse-drawn tramway from the station to the jetty where you can walk out on the jetty to the old goods crane over the water. There's still more rolling stock and displays parked all around the area around the station so take a wander and check them all out. For me, Engine 351, built in 1949, is the most imposing part of the display. I think it's what gives the whole precinct the air of being a working station. The Malang Railway Museum and South Australian Light Railway Centre are open on weekends from 12 till 4 p.m. and the cafe car is also open on Sundays. There's plenty more to find around the museum that I didn't quite cover here, so you really do need to come see it for yourself. Bring the family, it's free to look around. That's it folks, thanks for watching. I've got more of these videos in the works, so subscribe to this channel and you'll be able to check them out as soon as they're released. Cheers.